Hello everyone, hi, my name is Raleigh Jimenez. I'm here with Nazareth Studios to talk about the game that I'm currently working on, Lion of Judah. I would first like to apologize for kind of like the banner art and just the art in general. I was really creating these things fast um, as a solo developer. You know, there's only so much time to go around to work on certain things. So you can expect art like this to update as well with the game as we progress further into the future. Um, if you're still watching the video, Line of Judah is a open world action adventure RPG with some survival elements in it. It is a Christian inspired game, but I would like it to be known that I am not only looking uh, to Christians as my demographic, but I'm also looking to non-Christians as well. I want to make this a game for everyone to enjoy and hopefully to share with their family, friends, and their loved ones, essentially. So... With that being said, let's kind of hop into what we've been working on this month, which is Judah. When I was creating Judah, I wanted to create someone who um, looked like an action-adventure character. Someone that was fun, interesting, um, vibrant, so on and so forth. And I really feel like I conveyed that idea in this art. But as you could tell... Um, I was unable to translate that well into the 3D world. I'll kind of talk more about some of the design concepts and the ideas that goes into the enemy types um, later on in the future to kind of make this game kid-friendly. I didn't want there to be blood or anything of that nature. I want it to be something that everyone can play and enjoy, and that includes, you know, kids, um, kids, teenagers, adults, so on and so forth. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to like minimize my excitement for this because if I get too excited, I'll just start rambling. That's kind of my thing. I ramble. I'm very bad at public speaking. So if I'm stuttering or anything, it's because of that. Uh, so I just want to apologize for that right now, but I, I, I want to go into kind of how we went from here to here. So as I stated, I made the concept art. I tried to create it and it just wasn't working so I kept pushing kept pushing and I ended up with this character and we'll kind of go into here because this by the way if I didn't mention this this is my Ko-Fi page if um, you want to support me further from just you know following my Twitter page or subscribing to the YouTube channel or liking this video you can head over to Ko-Fi page follow here as well and you can donate money if you want. It's not a necessity, but if you feel the earnest desire to do so, all donations are happily accepted. You can do a monthly or one-time payment. It doesn't matter to me. Whatever you decide to give to me, I highly appreciate it. It's what's going to help feed my daughter, my cats, my dog, and most likely my chicken. Yes, we, we might be getting a chicken my fiance loves animals and she's always bringing an animal home uh, to take care of. So if you decide to support me, you're not only supporting me, my family, but you're also supporting the project um, because I'm dumping almost 100% of my time into this project and I'm giving it my utmo utmost best. And I hope I can really describe that and display that um, through all the iterations that you'll see throughout the future. Um, but yeah, let's kind of dive into the character now. So when I first started, this is what I had. I really was unable to capture any likeness. To be fair, I put very, very few hours into this project. Um, if you're a solo developer yourself, you'll know the stresses and the time constraints that you have. So everything that I'm doing right now, I'm trying to do as quick as possible, as fast as possible. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> I'm laughing because it's, you can't do that with a game. You have to take your time, especially if you're looking for something that you're excited about, right? It's about making things that you're excited to work with, that you're happy to show to the world. Um, and, but regardless of that, I'm not, I'm not scared to show my hiccups either. And I feel like this is a hiccup. It's not perfect but it's better than nothing, right? So we started off here. I was really unable to capture the likeness. I hope in the future that I can because I really do like the design of this character. 
Um, maybe in the future I can hire someone to do this, but I just do not have the capability to translate what I'm, what's on 2D paper to what's in the 3D spectrum. So with that being said, I kind of worked on, on him a little bit more, did some more things, and just realized it wasn't really working. So I dumped that, looked online, got some inspiration, was looking at like chibi art on Sketchfab and saw a face. And I was like, oh, that's a cute face. I really kind of want to capture that. So I created this character. And while I was able to capture like this cute face that I really enjoyed, uh, the body was just too humanoid for me. Um, I just wasn't, it wasn't vibing right, right? It was too, I felt like it was too much. He was like a, he had a baby face on a man's body. And it just, it wasn't working for me. Other than that, I, I kept going. I rigged him using Auto Rig Pro for the solo developers out there. You probably know it's an automated tool in Blender that you can purchase. That kind of just, you click a couple buttons and it automates a rig. And I rigged him up and we got a walk cycle going. Uh, I spent a lot of time in animation, um, watching videos online. Um, and for those who are interested that are developing a game themselves, Please go to this guy, Alex on Story. He gives like step by step walkthrough on the walking cycle. I'm even doing it right now for the character I'm working on because, you know, animation is a very big part of, you know, video game development. And it's something that needs to be taken seriously like everything else. Other than that, I got a walking cycle, but something. I was happy with this character at first, but then it just occurred to me that I that I wanted something more more fluffier. I don't, I don't know how to express that well. I wanted something more solidified. I wasn't really vibing with the body. I wanted it to be perfect and like I said earlier, something I was excited and happy to work with. And while I was happy with the face, I wasn't quite happy with the body. Um even though I feel like it works well here. From a far off distance, it works well, but when you're working with it in Blender, it just wasn't working. So I started developing a new character. And sorry for the sweater, it just wasn't working right now. I was just trying to sculpt everything out at this moment. Um, so I sculpted out this character, was liking some features of him, but I felt like it was too much at this point. I was like, ah, it's way too much. It was way, way too much. So I stepped back, and I kind of have to go in here to show you what I'm talking about. So I, I kind of deleted this guy. I was like, ah, oh, he's cool. I really like him. I really like this little black stuff around his, his mouth. Um, that little, you know, like with lines and muzzles, I really like that. And I, I liked his hair. So... It's funny because it, I feel like the character we have now is a culmination of everything that I've been working on. And that's really where the, the, uh, it's really where the laziness in me came, comes in. And I'll, I'll tell you about it later. But I was looking up like brand sculpts and I was like, man, I really like the way he makes these fun characters. So I started like playing with some shapes, just roughed them out. And I kind of came up with this and I was like, wow, I really love the body of this character. But I hate that face. I feel like the face, like it just stares into your soul. It's not like bad, but it wasn't what I particularly wanted. So like any artist, it, I was just like, what can I do? I got to remake another character. And then it dawned on me. I was like, why don't I just take the face from this guy and Frankenstein it on top of the body of this guy and that's what i did that's exactly what i did so here's judah now in all of his glory and i'm really happy to be at this point it feels like it was taking forever i was actually getting kind of depressed about it because i was like man what if i can't do this but i just kept at it um and kept pushing and i got to this point now i have this character and the style that i really really enjoy and i'm going to try to consistently keep it up with everything else that I do throughout this project. So a lot of um a lot of design went into Judah at the end of the day. He's not just 
one character, he's multiple characters, right? He's the face of this character, he's the hair of this character, and he's the body of this character. I kept his ears too. I like the ears of this um of this guy, so I kind of transplanted that onto the head. As you can tell here, these ones are a little big and rough, and I decided to transplant those ones onto his head. And uh, this is kind of him now. This is Judah now in all of his glory. Isn't he beautiful? I know you're thinking, yes, he is. So that, at, at least that's what I'm hoping you're thinking. Let me know in the comments section what you think about Judah and his design right now. Because um, I'm really kind of going for this this cute, fluffy, but there's this grimy aspect. You know, he's this cute, fluffy, pure character in this world of chaos. And he's just trying to save it from delving deeper into chaos, right? Um, but as you can tell right now, we're currently working on a walking animation. And um, yeah, that's kind of it for the video. I have worked on a new sword for him. I didn't really like this design. Um, but other than that, that's kind of that's kind of it. In the future, for this month, we're going to be working on animation. Um, and hopefully I can record some of that for you. I want to make these devlogs a little bit more involving, maybe get some footage. I did have footage, but I got rid of it because I just, um, I didn't really like it too much. And I felt like I would over convolute the whole entire devlog. One more exciting piece. There is resistance. <laughs> and I don't know if this is going to work in the future, but I used shape keys to make him blink. So now he blinks. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Yeah. So he blinks. Soon he'll walk. I feel like I need to add more of that that little black muzzle on his face. I think that's what I'm going to do next in Substance Painter. But yeah, other than that, this next upcoming month, we're going to get into animations and hopefully some in-game movement. So I'm excited for that in the upcoming future. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate your time and energy. If you could, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. And if you're interested in monthly updates, click the notification bell so you're updated immediately when those are dropped. Um, we might be pushing them to buy weekly videos as well to keep you more engaged. And if you haven't already, please follow the Twitter page where we have weekly updates and the Ko-Fi page as well. Thank you all so much. You have a great day and uh, goodbye.